Hi everyone, this is The Pinspired Teacher from The Pinspired Teacher blog. Today I'm going to show you how to make your PowerPoints editable and also how to kind of protect your PowerPoints a little bit more if you are a teacher who sells your items on Teachers Take Teachers or another site such as Teachers Notebook. So for me, I have an idiom ABC book here. And I want teachers to be able to go in and type, if they so choose, the idiom that they want their children to write the meaning and sentence of without messing up the format. So what you have to do is you have to go to File, Save As, Other Formats in Microsoft PowerPoint. And then give the page a name. So I'll just call this Then here where it shows you this drop down menu, you want to choose PNG and then save save it somewhere where you'll remember. For this time, you'll push current slide only, but if you wanted to do this to your whole entire document, you could do that as well at the very end by clicking every slide. I'm going to click current slide only for now, though. And now that that's saved, I'm going to go right above it, insert a blank template, and then I want to go up to insert picture. Because remember, we saved it as a PNG, so now it's a picture file. Insert it. And there we go. Now, you'll see the difference when I click here. The only thing I can do is move it this way and that. As you can see, the entire slate is page is one image. As opposed to down here, where I could completely butcher this and type mess it up so we don't want that. So what I will do now to make this editable is I could just save it now if this was my product that I was uploading to Teachers Pay Teachers. I could just save it now as a Microsoft PowerPoint and that way when someone purchases it they can just open it up and they can put a text box right here and they could type the idiom that they're thinking of and format it the way they want. They can make it bigger. They can truly customize it to their classroom needs. Okay. They could also do the same down here if they wanted to differentiate this by adding just the meaning or adding the meaning in the sentence. They could do that as well now that they have this as an image. They can play around with it and put text anywhere on the page that they want without messing up your resource. So that is my tip. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check back for more at the Pinspired Teacher blog. Thanks for viewing.